Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for June 4th through the 10th. If one of these cards flips over, you get to see it now. I'm going to get an oracle card from this deck and from that deck. If it flips over, you get to see it, otherwise it will be revealed at the end. This is typically a love reading. Um, generally that's what my readings are. If you're not looking for love, if you hate people, then you probably shouldn't want to watch this. Um, yeah, this is for the sign of Scorpio. Express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. Something small. Show someone you love them through gifts. This is for the sign of Scorpio. I have a habit of flipping the cards, so... First week of June. First week of June. This will not resonate with every single person. Okay? Just keep that in mind. Here it is. Scorpio. First week of June. What does Scorpio need to know? Somebody's letting go of a burden. Somebody is giving up on a situation. Giving up. I'm giving up. I'm not going to fight for this anymore. I'm letting go. You could be dealing with somebody that is hard to love, whether it's you or them. Somebody is hard to love. They're vindictive, resentful, bitter. Your intuition is spot on Scorpio you you are whatever your, your thoughts truly do become things by the way I just have to let you know right off the bat that you are being divinely guided this week you are being given message messages from above pay attention to the signs pay attention to synchronicities at this time your dreams are probably telling you something you are receiving messages at a pretty constant constant uh, rate this week okay your inner guide is talking to you okay so just really really pay attention it feels as though you do you need to believe in yourself you need to follow your own path um, whatever you're thinking is true do not doubt your thoughts do not doubt your intuition because it's spot on all right it is absolutely spot on. You could be dealing with somebody who's trying to confuse you and tell you that you're wrong, but you're not wrong. Okay, you're not wrong. You know exactly what's up. There's no doubt about it. No doubt. There's no... You know what's going on. You know the truth. Okay, you have a divine connection. It's like your sixth sense is active. More active than anybody else's at this time. Okay, it is. Whew. So, you know, the thing is, is somebody's trying to confuse you. Son of a bitch. Before this card even came out, I said somebody's trying to confuse you. And this is the confusion. Somebody is, to, is like filling you up. They're filling you up. They're trying to confuse you. They're keeping secrets. They are very mysterious. They're sneaky. They're, they're you know... It feels as though they they like the mystery, so they like to keep you in the dark, okay? You're dealing with somebody who is very, I feel, deceptive, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, another water sign. Could be a Taurus, could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Virgo. Could be a Gemini. Could be any sign. Just saying. 
I feel as though something has happened too fast, it's too good to be true, it's not, and you know that it's too good to be true. And the thing is, is that you've known this for a while and you've been in denial. You knew this wasn't right. This person that you're dealing with is full of it, okay? They wanted to move too fast and it feels as though you, you know, you, you, your divine connection is telling you that this person isn't good for you. And I don't know who it is, but I think that you, I mean, the two of swords reverse, it's like, Lies have been exposed. You know they have. They've been. You know that this uh, this person is a liar. You do. You do. And it feels as though they weren't ever offering you true romance. It was. They were all talk. You were dealing with somebody that was all talk, no action. And it feels like you're taking. You're releasing. You're letting go. You. That's what it looks like to me. You're finding the resources within yourself to let go. To let go of this person. It feels like you you have this inner knowing that is so... You know what this is. You know who you need to let go of. You know that this person is lying to you. You have a divine connection that is absolutely telling you that you are dealing with a liar who is all talk. That's what I see for this week. I feel as though you guys have probably taken the time to become aware of your own thoughts of your own intuition you have there's like a jesus consciousness here there no shit okay divine connection jesus consciousness this is the hierophant card this is um this is a priest this is like from uh, from heaven this is divine guidance this is your inner guide with the high priestess that's intuitive in, intuitive you guys have a divine connection you're receiving the answers you're receiving the news you're receiving the intuition you're receiving the guidance that you need to make this decision to shed this whatever it is i think that you are letting go of somebody that is full of shit i'm sorry Yeah, the truth is out. You you ha you are wide awake, wide awake. And at this point, you just want to you want to focus on your future. It's like you you've prepared yourself for this anyway. You knew this was coming. You did. You knew this was coming. You knew that this person was in in it for love. They weren't in it for love. Okay, this person was only in it for everything but love. All right, they may be. Or you may be, somebody may be, may have only been in it for security, you know, financial security. There was no happiness. There's no happiness here. No bliss. It was, it was immature love. And now you have to make that judgment call. You are so wide awake, it's not even funny. You are. You're hearing the truth. You're seeing the truth. This was a karmic situation. You're releasing this person. You're releasing the past. You're not holding on. You knew this was immature love. You knew that it, it wasn't real love. It was childish. It was... And you've been preparing for this. I think that you've been preparing for this truth to come out. And I think that the truth has been told to you in many different signs, many different ways, probably your dreams, all kinds of ways. The truth has been told to you that you were involved in a, in a situation that was never going to be, be happy, okay? And I feel like at this point, you are accepting this truth. You're waking up. The truth has been revealed, and I feel like you are, are releasing it. You're releasing this person. I think that you are letting something go. I don't know what it is. Yeah, this is the end of a contract. This is the end of a, of a partnership. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't, there was too much, too much arguing going on with a partner. It wasn't, it wasn't meant to be. It was based on everything but love. Oh my goodness. This person may have been using you to, for their own securities, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, there's there is too much imbalance, too much disharmony. 
this person probably had addictions. Or you, somebody has addictions here and it was impacting the love life. Either way, there's, a, there's an end of a union. There's a breakup here. I, there is a breakup. They, they filled you up with, with illusion. They did. They did. And now I think that you're going to put a stop to it. You're going to completely stop it. It's like, no. Nope. I'm not looking for somebody to not love me. I think you guys are looking for love. And you can see right through this person. They, it's not love. It's not love. This person is moody. They're temperamental. They're, they overindulge. You know, they're non-committal. They're not looking for a commitment. They're probably already committed to somebody else. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's committed to a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And that's why they can't commit to you. They haven't completely moved away from that situation, whatever it is. It feels as though this was always like a third party situation and it could never be happiness because this person isn't Taurus Virgo Capricorn again. This person isn't, um, hasn't effectively moved away from the other person. There's, there's no growth here. There's no growth. Whoever this person you're dealing with, it could be a water sign or an earth sign or, you know, there's, there's, there's more than one person in the mix here. You could be dealing with a person who's in love with somebody else or you're in love with somebody else, okay? Therefore, there's no growth with you and you know it. That's what it looks like to me. It feels like this is a week of coming to terms with the truth. The truth is being shown to you. It's being told to you. And I feel as though you guys are going to let go of a situation that promises no happiness, no growth, and no fertility. I do apologize for that. Somebody else is committed to somebody else, and you come to that realization that this was just an illusion, and it's time to move on. I'm so sorry. I'm absolutely very, very, very sorry. Um... There was a third, there's the third party situation. There's a lot of, there's another three under here. There's, there's, there's a third party situation here. You know, you can't, that doesn't ever work out. Somebody's in love with somebody from the past. Therefore you, can, or somebody that, somebody's in love with somebody else. Therefore you can't be involved. You know what I'm saying? Three's a crowd. Whether it's you're in love with somebody else or they're in love with somebody else, somebody's in love with somebody else. That's what I see. Therefore, there's no growth. There's no fertility. It's time to head out of this situation. Move on. Master your emotions. Put yourself in the driver's seat and get the hell out of that situation. Quickly. Quickly. You're being divinely guided. Seven, divine. You are being divinely guided to listen. Listen. Really pay attention. Pay attention this week because you're receiving signs from every direction. I feel as though you are giving up on a situation that promises no growth. You're finally realizing the truth. You see the truth. Express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. Maybe that's the first step. Maybe you give this person a gift and they don't care. I'm just saying, I don't know what this means. You figure it out however it resonates with you. Maybe you have in the past. Maybe that's the eye opener. I don't know. Oh, oh, you're going to be receiving all kinds of gifts from above. The universe loves you. The divine loves you. They are giving you signs constantly this week. Consider that a gift of protection. Children, your love life is being affected by children. However that resonates with you. 
This could be a son-mother dynamic, um, a son-father, you know, whatever. I don't know, mother or two children, whatever. However it resonates with you. I don't know where son came up with. It just popped into my head. But anyway, um, I feel as... It definitely has to do with being a mother. It definitely does because we have the mother card here in reversed. You know, so something to do with being a mother. Maybe the mother of your children. I don't know. Or the... I don't know how it resonates with you because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. But it has to do with children. Maybe this person doesn't want to be a mother. That's definitely... Or a father, you know. Somebody... It definitely has to do with children. Okay. Um, so anyway, that is what I have for this week. I feel as though somebody is giving up. Okay. They are the very first card that came out. Somebody is giving up on a situation which they have been waiting for and fighting for for a long time. I'm done. I'm done. I, I, I realize that this is never going to work out. Talk to you later.